You made it to part seven of this eDesign Suite video tutorial series. In this video, you will learn how to use the Evaluation Board Selector. This new feature will help you select the evaluation board that best matches your needs in our product portfolio. As demonstrated in previous episodes, let's navigate to the eDesign Suite page and select an application use case. Before we have defined any input specifications, the tool automatically selects a list of ST evaluation boards matching our application use case. Click the Evaluation Board Selector button. A pop-up window appears previewing boards available for our use case. For each available board, you'll see an image of the product, board characteristics, links to the board data sheet and product page, a sample and buy link to the page where you can purchase it. Let's now specify the required operating conditions. After we have done so, open again the Evaluation Board Selector. The list of suitable boards has been refined and now features a selection of ST Evaluation Boards matching your updated requirements a selection of additional boards that fit your specification within certain tolerances. Sliders on the left allow you to refine tolerances assigned to your design parameters. For example, according to our specification, the I-out current value is set to 1 amp. By default, the tool adds a 20% tolerance showing all boards with an I-out current larger or equal to 800 milliamp. If we use the slider to increase tolerance on the I-out current, the selection of additional boards is updated with more products. Available tolerance sliders may differ according to the selected application use case, but generally include V-in, V-out, I-out, and price. The Evaluation Board Selector is available at any step of the design process, including during the IC selection stage. When you use the interactive dashboard to visualize, analyze, and refine your design operating conditions and performance. At any time the board selection is updated based on your latest design refinements and your specified price range. Tune into episode eight for a tour of the digital power workbench.